Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to review the brand new Telo drone for $100. Let's have a look at what you get. There was some confusion here about the manufacturer because of these logos here. This is made by Rise Technology, but it has DJI technology in it and an Intel processor. So let's see here what you get for $100 again. 13 minutes flight time, precise hovering, there's a vision positioning system, 5 megapixels camera, uh, and electronic image stabilization at $100. That's amazing. 720p, not 1080p, again, because of the price. Uh, flight modes, easy operation using your uh, cell phone or a tablet, and programmable using the Tello SDK. But if you don't like to program, you can also operate the drone or program the, the drone with Scratch, which is much easier to use. And actually, I'll do a separate video on that. And then you can buy here accessories like a controller, charging hub, and different skins here. So back to Rise versus DJI. Let me show you here. Hopefully, the camera will do a good uh, focus here. So manufactured by Rise Tech Co. Limited. And the address is this, 10th floor, West Wing, Skywarf Semiconductor Design Building, uh, num number 18, in uh, Shenzhen, and you have the street here, okay? So, this is the address of Rise Tech Co. Now, let's go to my computer. We are on the uh, DJI website here, so let me uh, scroll down to the address right here. And look at this, 14th floor, West Wing, Skywarf Semiconductor Building, number 18, Shenzhen, China. The exact same address as Rise Tech Co. Limited, except that Rise is on the 10th floor. Uh, my guess is, I could be wrong, that uh, my guess is that uh, DJI owns Rise, and they're using a different name just to uh, market uh, cheaper drones. So we may see other drones than the uh, Tello. Just like uh, Toyota is using Lexus to sell more expensive uh, cars. Now let's open the box. I must say I am very curious here because for the price and the features, I want to see the build quality. I am like very, very curious. So let's uh, open this box here. So we have the drone here and I think there is a false bottom here so let's open this side also yeah there was something here so what do we have we have a battery spare props and uh, a user guide which I'm going to have a quick look and I'll come back in a minute give you a summary but I just want to put to give you a comment here the battery has a capacity of 1100 uh, mAh and if I compare with my uh, with my other drone here the uh, the unique breeze uh, 4k I did a few videos on these and look at the difference in the size this is like this is amazing the unique breeze battery is at least double the size of this battery so they were able to put a lot of power in a very small size and now if we look at the drone put this aside and this is the drone and you know what uh, it's very impressive. You can probably see here. I'll move closer. You can see here the details. It's well built um, Look at this here. The wires are right here for the motor and again um, I did not mention that actually but for the price you get brushed motors. They're not brushless so you cannot get brushless uh, with all this technology for $100 and the camera is right here and the battery fits right there so uh, very nice uh, build quality I am very impressed so I'm going to charge the battery give a quick uh, summary on the manual and I'll come back the manual is only uh, five uh, pages so uh, basically here what I want to point out is that 
when you charge the uh, blue LED in front of the tele will be blinking and after about an hour and a half full charge you'll, the light will be steady uh, blue and here they show how to change the props and basically you need to download the Tello app on your phone and then you can control the drone with uh, your phone and here how to change the the, the, the prop cards and uh, in the uh, in the spec I just want to point out here that the maximum speed is 28.8 .8. I don't know uh, how they can be so precise why not like 28 or 29 kilometers per hour flight time is maximum 13 minutes like I said and they say here with no wind at the consistent speed of 9 miles per hour or 15 kilometers per hour and uh, operating temperature above 0 degrees again they mention it here if you fly in the winter below 0 Celsius it's always a risk and uh, yeah that's all I wanted to mention and uh, again here it's 720p at 30 frames per second unfortunately processor is not powerful enough at that price range to do 60 frames per second before I fly the drone I just want to compare sizes this is the well-known uh, blade Nano QX been around for a few years I did a review of this one here, the Sharper Image DX2, $50. This was a year ago. It's a one-year-old drone. And like I said in my review, this was the best drone, in my opinion, for $50. And this is the Breeze, the unique Breeze 4K. So you can see the difference in size with the Tello. This is a major difference here. So I put the Tello on the floor. First thing you do, turn the drone on, then you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi uh, from the drone, and then, only then, as a third step, you open the app. The Tello apps I'm going to show you here, and I'll just stay on it for a few uh, seconds. We'll see the main screen, and we see what the drone sees, and we got the message, the drone has connected. So, very briefly here, this is to record picture or video. This is to play what you have recorded and stored on your phone. And here you have settings, drone settings, and auto uh, takeoff and auto landing. So just to check here, I am in the slow mode and I'm going to do a video eventually on the controller. I have something interesting to show here. And uh, for the drone uh, settings here, these are the modes, sorry, the drone mode. So you can you have throw and go, 8D flips, up and away, which is interesting. You record a short, or a short video while flying upward and backward. 360, also that's good. A circle video. And then the last one is a bounce mode. I'm not sure what was the idea behind uh, this from Rise, but anyway, you go up and down and you take a video like bouncing. Okay, so I'll take off and uh, we'll just follow the drone with my camera here. So as you can see, the drone is very stable. Actually, I'm going to move my camera here. I'm not touching the control. So look at the drone. How stable it is with the uh, vision positioning system. And again, I like to fly in front of that bookcase because there is a lot of details. Now let's see here in slow mode how, how we can control. Yeah, see, it is slow, the slow mode, but it is still very responsive. Unfortunately, like many Wi-Fi drone, drones, there is a delay of like not even half a second, less than that, between you touching the phone and the drone responding so because of that it makes it a little difficult to control sometimes so i think with the with a controller it would be uh, easier so i'm going to take a few pictures here of that uh, bookcase and a video i'm going to fly outside also obviously so we'll compare the footage outside versus uh, inside and i'm just going to show here what the drone sees again so on my phone so this is the view from the drone 
So I'm going to press auto land. First of all, I'll move the drone back in the center of the view here. And I'm going to press auto land. And that's it, we landed. Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to settings and I will select fast this time. There you go. Okay, and we'll see what happens with the fast settings. So auto take off, here we go. Okay, let's see now what kind of, uh, Oh, it's, uh, it's very responsive. I'm not sure. No, I would not recommend flying this mode indoor for sure. Uh, even outside, I would see this with a controller. Again, because of the short delay with the phone, it makes it difficult. Like, I'm even afraid now to collide with my camera or with the, uh, with the bookcase. Okay, we'll stop here and I'm going to move again to the center of the field of view and I'm going to press on auto land and there we go. And we landed safely. So my final thoughts on the Tello drone in no particular order, the status light or LED should be in the back because it will always take off this way here to make it easier so the controls will not be reversed. So you should really see the status LED in right here and not in the front. So um, the same token, there is no R button in the app which is unfortunate. So if you want to fly facing you here and you're not careful, you, you thought or you think that you would go this way, but you could actually go this way and hit yourself or your group of people. So too bad, the Unique Breeze, if you saw my review, does have the R button in the app. Battery life, we saw 13 minutes on the box. I got 11 max, and most of the time I would get 10. And this is indoor with no wind. So this is a little disappointing here. This is way below uh, specs. Build quality, like I said at the beginning, is amazing. Lots of features, good specs, features like all the flight modes. Uh, the electronic image stabilization, well, you saw the footage. Inside, of course, with no wind, it works, it works fine. But outside, as soon as you exceed like a very mild wind of five kilometers per hour, like around 10, 15, the, there's too much shake and the processor in the drone cannot process all the information, even though it's only 720p. But overall, for a price of $100, this is amazing. This is a very nice drone and I don't regret my purchase. So if you have any questions, Put them down below and I'll be very happy to get back to you. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.